Hey everyone, welcome back to Bogey's Backyard Golf. Today, I have something pretty exciting to share with you. It's an application that integrates with GS Pro, and I'm not sure how well known it is. I just found out about it. We all know GS Pro is fantastic for simulator golf. There's really nothing better. But tracking progress, golf shot analytics, analysis, you want to fit yourself for new clubs, you know, then it leaves a little bit to be desired. Now, I'm pretty sure GS Pro is working on some of these features. There's one feature that I really wish GS Pro had. My launch monitor doesn't have it either. And that is shot dispersion. You know, you hit a shot on the range and sure, you can see apex and ball flight, spin numbers. You can get all that data. But I want to see from a graphical standpoint where those balls land. Show me dispersion. Hopefully it's coming soon. In the meantime, there is a tool and it's called Golf Shot Analytics that will integrate with GS Pro and fill in the gap, give you all of that and more. What am I gonna, what am I gonna hit on my next approach shot? Or should I change my angle of attack? Is that gonna make a difference? This application is gonna help you. I'm gonna take some shots in the simulator and I'm gonna show you how this application will completely change the way you analyze your golf game. So I'm gonna take about 10 swings with my gap wedge and then we're going to move that data over to the application and i'll walk you through it we'll go from the install right to importing the data and give you a walkthrough of how everything works all right let's get into it Okay, so we've taken 10 shots and we're going to navigate over to golfshotanalytics.com. The first thing you're going to do is head to the top right and click on download. It's only available for Windows and you can see here download Golf Shot Analytics version 2.22. Now, Keep in mind, this software is no longer in development. The developer is no longer continuing on with development. So uh, what you see here is, is what you're going to get uh, unless someone else decides to pick it up. But as of right now, it looks like it uh, has come end of life as far as development and possibly support. So you download it. And once you download it, you're going to go through the install. And I've already installed, so we'll just open up the application here. You're going to see you'll get an installer. You'll click on that, executable, and install the software. All right, now that we're all installed, let's take a, a deeper dive into what Golf Shot Analytics can do, starting with how it integrates with GS Pro and your launch monitor. So what can this app really do? Well, let's talk about the main dashboard first. Here you can define objectives like tracking your average distances or improving specific metrics. 
from there, every shot you take is then recorded and organized into sessions. So we've taken 10 shots. Now let's see how this actually works. From the main dashboard, what we need to do now is we need to import that data from GS Pro, from those 10 swings we just took. We're gonna click on the folder, import data. You'll be prompted, import GS Pro data file. So we know we have that, we saved it from the driving range. It's a CSV file. The folder where that is saved, and I put it in this one right here, GS Pro data. So let's click on that. Now you have an option, and this is important. You wanna select the correct unit. So distance, we're gonna go with yards, height, feet, and speed, miles per hour. Continue. Now we can give it a name. So let's just call this um, ping G430 gap wedge. October 25th, time doesn't really matter. We can click on show details. We can give it a rating. We'll leave that off for now. Continue. Okay, 10 valid shots were found and imported. Here they are. Let's look at our first swing here. So you can see from a very high level, we've got carry distance, total distance, club speed, ball speed, and backspin. Now, if we right click on that row, we can take a look at show shot metrics. And this is gonna give us all of our data that it's imported from GS Pro, all of those metrics. Okay, now let's look at shot visuals. Here, we've got side view of the trajectory, impact side view, impact top view, trajectory top view. So you're getting visuals in addition to just the shot metrics. This. I really like this option. Set video URL. Let's click on that. So here you have the ability to, to import that video relating to this shot. So let's navigate to that folder and bring that video in. So I've saved my videos from that session to a folder called G430 Gap Wedge. And this is gonna contain those 10 shots. Here they are, and here is the one in question. This is my first shot. This one here. Let's click OK. Here's the video. So this is gonna allow you to replay the video and it also gives you the option to draw lines. Helpful, very similar to Swing Catalyst, any type of video analysis software. It's an added feature that the developer has put into this. So now we've added the video to this shot. We right click, we can show shot video, and here it is. And it also gives you some added features here where you can draw lines and replay in slow motion. So this is really where the power of this app shines because I can now compare these metrics side by side, track my progress over time, and even look at frequency charts to see, you know, how consistent I am across different sessions. You know, what I think is most exciting, especially for, you know, club fitters, you can set up custom dashboards tailored to your needs. So whether you're trying to see correlations between club head speed and distance or, or figuring out what changes in your swing impact your ball flight, the Golf Shot Analytics software here has the tools for that. Now I can select specific data points like angle of attack, spin rate, or smash factor and see exactly how they're affecting my performance. So let's head up to the top here and I've labeled Bogey's Backyard Golf as the title, and you can change that by clicking a little pencil here. So if we go to Sessions, this is my favorite part, and this is what I've been waiting for. Dispersion. We don't have that in GS Pro yet. 
hopefully it's coming, but as of right now, we do not have it. And my Pro TVX launch monitor, I believe they're also working on dispersion. As of right now, we don't have it. So this view, I love this view. You can click on all the circles and you'll see the corresponding shot on the left highlight. And what it allows you to do is, for example, I hit this one long, right? We carried it 103 yards. Well, why? On average, you know, looks like about 10 yards further. What caused it? Well, I can dive into that right here and find out. And you can see backspin, 6,900. The rest of them are seven and eight thousands. So we got more distance out of that one and more height. As you can see, the apex was 63 versus, you know, the rest of them are in the 50s. I've been waiting for a look at dispersion for a long time, and um, now I have the ability to do that until we see something from GS Pro or, or my Pro TVX software. So I'm very happy that we have the ability to look at these numbers and graphics. So let me give you a quick overview of what we have here. Now, this is my first time through this, so uh, I'm with you. I'm learning as we go here. So we've got sessions, which we've just talked about. Okay, let's take a look at shots list. So this here is just going to give you an overview of each shot for that session. And if you click on each one, so it's going to give you your, your metrics here on the left and a visual of what you see on the left on the right here. Similar to the feedback you would get from your launch monitor. Let's take a look at clubs overview. We only have the gap wedge in here because that's all we've tested so far. Progress. So here you, you can sort by period, right? So again, I only have one session. So this is going to allow you to sort by date and really look at your progression over time. Unfortunately, we just started here. I've got one session. You get the idea. Frequency. This I like. Now, this is going to give you total distance, club head speed, ball speed, backspin. And you can sort by club. So if we go to driver, we know we don't have a driver in there, right? We've only used a wedge. So it allows you to sort by club. And if you click on each one, so 20%, 20% of the time, my distances for that wedge, total distance is 93 to 94 yards. That's my gap wedge. Also, 20%, I'm 98 to 99 yards, okay? And 10%, I'm a little short, but this really gives you a good idea as to where your numbers are and allows you to really dial in those distances. Club head speed, 30%. With the gap wedge, I'm at 66 miles an hour. I had a jump up here, 68, and down here, 62. 62 is my low, 66 is the high for that one session. I only took 10 shots, so the majority of my swings are at 66 miles an hour. Club head speed from 68 to 76. Backspin. Backspin is all over the place. 6,800, 10%, all the way up to 8,900 at 10%. Backspin, 8,081. 20% of the time, I'm in the middle with the gap wedge. All right, let's check out correlations. I mean, you can really dive deep into the numbers here. I mean, it's just very powerful. Trajectories. So this is giving us dispersion view and trajectory view from a visual standpoint. Again, now if I click on the dispersion circle, you're going to see the corresponding shot highlighted on the left. Overall, I think this is a fantastic tool. As you can see, this was released March 23rd, 2023. It had one update in April. You know, it's an option for anyone out there that wants to dive deep into analyzing their golf swing without those features being available on GS Pro or your launch monitor software. So it's a great option to have. I'm glad I found it and I will continue to use this because it's important to me, especially for club fitting. I do build clubs, um, custom fit clubs often, 
And this is going to be a very valuable tool for that. Dispersion was one of the pieces I was missing, and I'm glad to have that as a tool. Well, guys, thanks for watching. Um, I'm new to this software, so that was more of a, a high-level overview. I've got to spend some time on it and really get into it and learn about all of its capabilities because it's a pretty powerful little tool. You know, if you, you want to get an in-depth look at your performance, this software is going to do it for you. So while we're waiting for GS Pro or your launch monitor software to give you that ability, you've got this anyway to look at as an option. So it is out there. It is free, and for me, it's a game changer. Shot dispersion, it's the one piece I really needed for club fitting, dialing in irons, just really, really beneficial for me. So if you have any questions, you know, I'm gonna be working with this software, really learning the ins and outs and, and full capabilities that it has to offer. Shoot me a message, and if I can help, I'd be glad to do so. In the meantime, Check out some of my other videos and let me know what you'd like to see next. All right, guys, we'll catch you on the next one.